Kok mana nih? Ali Madu, Kak Divi, Roni Mandre, Leni Nandre. Ali Duyung came to us four years ago. A few days later, I dreamed that she was my son Swardi's twin sister, and so we adopted her. Today, she is part of our family. Every year we welcome Ali's spirit to our home and offer her protection. This bamboo altar is hers. It always contains food so that she is never in need. We love Ali Duyong and we don't want to lose her. The story of the King of Goa is a reminder to us that here in Sulawesi, Varanises are men. A long time ago, in the land of the Bugis, a queen gave birth to twins. One of them was in the form of a Varanus. The family hid its offspring out of shame, but in vain. A few days later, the infant died, but the Varanus survived. Since he refused to eat, everyone expected him to die as well. The worried king wondered what such an infant could possibly eat, until one night, the king dreamed that he had to take the baby Varanus to the river and let him go. The next day, the king put him down at the edge of the water and watched sadly as the current carried the Varanus away, but not before telling the infant that he would wait eternally for him to return. Ever since, we know that we must respect all Varanuses so as not to incur the anger of the king of Goa's son, who will return one day. Bagus mukanya, cantik. From November to February, it rains every day. That's why the lake gets so big. Usually, it's no deeper than the height of a man. But during the rainy season, we sleep on four meters of water, surrounded by water lilies and hyacinths, which grow in abundance and cover the lake. Thousands of years ago, the south of Sulawesi was separated from the rest of the island. Instead of the lake, there was an ocean. Right now, looking at the submerged land, we can fish once again, and we feel as if nothing has changed.
City people call us the peasants of the lake because we live to the rhythm of the rice harvests, the rain and the flooding. Although sometimes on the other side of the mountains, flooding is a curse, for us, it's a miracle. I want Swadi to learn how to cast the net and spread it out, as I learned from my father. At this time of the year, everybody fishes here. We can't afford to stay here without working. The fish in the lake aren't very big, but there are lots of them. In three months, I can get a good price for them in the Singkang market. <laughs> To preserve them, we gut the fish and dry them. At the end of the season, when we leave, the boat will be full of them. The rainy season is a second life. We change houses, jobs, and neighbors too. Some, however, no longer have the strength to grow rice, and so they abandon their floating houses and live in a shelter built on stilts. They stay there, between sky and water, in a space without land, not knowing sometimes in which direction the palm trees grow. After fishing, we devote a lot of time to our little daughter. Ali Du Jung is like the child we should have had, but didn't. Allah sent her to us in a different form, that's all. It's an honor to have been judged worthy of receiving her. Now, we must raise and cherish her and accept her as she is. We don't often speak about Ali to other people. Many people don't understand. Some even disapprove. They say that a true Muslim cannot believe in such a thing. Sometimes we feel a little isolated. We're simple people, but something exceptional has happened to us. Yeah, 
sudah mandi ya Oh, no, it's more of it.